You'll lose it. You owe me $40,000. So, you want to learn how to short sell and make money from stocks falling off? In this video, I'm going to show you the four steps to successfully profit from short-selling stocks. And I'm talking about the practical steps, such as finding your prime target in real life, trash talk about the stock, how to find stocks to short on your broker, then executing the short sell, and collecting those sweet, sweet profits. Now, are you ready to go on this short selling journey with me today? This is going to be an adventure. But before we go, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe so we can all donate to Elon Musk's Short Foundation. All right, step one to short selling. Get out of your home office and away from your trading computer to the real world and find companies you hate in real life. All right, let's go. Okay, I know this step might be optional, but it's a great way for us degenerate short sellers to get out of the house into the real world and do some real life market research. You see this Tesla Model Y? It's bought from the profit from short selling Tesla stock. This is the Rivian office. This is supposed to be worth a hundred billion dollars at once. Come on. I've definitely spent a lot of money on the Starbucks drinks, but not the stock. Let's be real here, sometimes their coffee tastes like my grandmother's diarrhea. To be honest, I think I've spent more money on these Lululemon pants than I've made money trading the stock. Check out these sick cars behind me and the nice t-shirts. This is really, really nice. Oh wait, but the glass is dirty. This is why you gotta short the stock. You'll lose it. You owe me $40,000. Okay, now that we've selected our target in real life, it's time for step number two. Find shares to short on your broker. <laughs> All right, now it's time to short sell. <laughs> okay, now that we're back at our trading computer, it's time to find stocks to short. Remember, in our last video called Short Selling for Beginners, I explained that to short a stock, you must first borrow the shares to short from your broker. Essentially, you are borrowing something you don't own to sell to someone else first. This is the weird business of short selling. And don't worry, let me show you the technical steps now. When short selling stocks, your target, you'll lose it generally fall under two categories. Easy to borrow stocks, which is often abbreviated as ETB, and hard to borrow stocks, HTB. In the process of finding shares to short and executing a short sell on these two categories could be quite different. And these stock shares you want to borrow from your broker are called short locates, borrows or shares to borrow. They all mean the same thing. Let's start with the easy to borrow stocks first. If a stock is easy to borrow, it means they are free to borrow from your broker. You pay $0 to loan the shares to short a stock. So for example, I could short Tesla, Starbucks, or even Moderna stock for free intraday. And obviously, this is great to see. Generally speaking, large cap stocks are often free to borrow. You can find whether a stock is easy to borrow or not on your montage window. You'll see this S sign besides your ticker symbol for most of the platforms. That means the stock is ETB and you can short sell these stocks for free. Now moving on to step number three, executing the short sell on your broker platform. And let me demonstrate the short sell on one of my platforms here, Zero Pro by Trade Zero. Go to your montage window, select the number of shares you want to short, 
and then click short to execute the short sell. As demonstration purposes here, I shorted 1,000 shares of this stock at 842. It's a very similar setup on my other broker platforms as well. This is Interactive Brokers connected to DAS Trader Pro. I often select the stock to short, and then number of shares, and then click sell to execute the short sell. Okay, so the process of step number two, finding stocks to short sell, and step number three, executing the short, seems pretty straightforward for easy to borrow stocks, right? Now, we gotta talk about shorting the hard to borrow stocks. There's a lot more consideration needed when it comes to shorting these ones that you must be aware of. If you watched this video so far and enjoyed this kind of presentation, breaking down the steps of short selling and locating stocks to short, then please remember to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below if you want me to film more fun and educational videos like these in the future. Okay, back to hard to borrow stocks. I mean, it's in the name after all, hard to borrow stocks. That means it's going to cost you extra, extra money. Usually when a stock is not easy to borrow, that means it's more difficult for the brokers to find those shares too short. Think about, you know, pump and dump penny stocks, or during the Wall Street bets movement when GameStop went all the way to $500. When a stock price is obviously too high and it's very likely to come back down to earth, that's when a stock becomes hard to borrow because the demand to short a stock is high and often these stocks have lower shares counts, so the supply to short them is limited. Hard to borrow stocks are hard to find and they cost a lot more money to locate. When a stock is HTB, you won't be able to see the S symbol on your montage. Like this stock right here, you can see that it's a lower float small cap penny stock. You can see it went to a high of $7 from $2 just a couple days ago. It's very likely going back down to earth. Shares float is only about 20 million shares, so limited shares available out there in the market for sure. And you would often see this with other small cap penny stock pump and dump stocks. They are generally all hard to borrow. So that means you need to pay in order to locate them to short. In order to get these hard to borrow stocks to short, you need to be using brokers that have an extensive inventory of stocks to short. For example, Trade Zero, Cobra Trading, or Centerpoint Securities. Let me show you what that looks like on my platform right now. So this is a platform Zero Pro by Trade Zero. To locate a hard to borrow stock to short, first you need to go to the short locate window here. Type in a symbol, and now we need to press enter to look up the cost to borrow these stocks. Now, if I'm okay with the cost and I want to the locate, then I just click okay, and there you go. You can see that these locates are available in your short inventory. Trade Zero is by far one of the best when it comes to hard to borrow stocks inventory, especially if you have an account under $30,000. And a lot of times they have shares to short on certain extremely hard to borrow stocks that I really couldn't find anywhere else. And they've recently come back to Canada. I know in Canada, there's limited broker options, so I'm very happy to see Trade Zero back in Canada. They are also available in the US and other countries as well. Now let's do the same process on my Cobra trading platform now and see what that looks like. You can see, to go locate a stock, go to the short locate window, type in the symbols you're looking for and the number of shares and click inquire to see the cost. And if you're okay with the cost, then click locate order. And that's it. 
So all of these brokers I just mentioned, TradeZero, Cobra, and Centerpoint, they are the best brokers when it comes to short selling. And hopefully this answers many of the frequently asked questions I get about which brokers to use for short selling. I have accounts with all of them and I personally use them to short sell stocks. Again, if you have a small account under $30,000, or if you're in Canada, then Trade Zero is your best choice when it comes to shorting hard to borrow stocks. I'm working with them to get a deal for you guys to get one month of 10% off on your locate fees and three months of free platform, which is Zero Pro. The link to sign up is in the description below if you're interested. Cobra Trading and Centerpoint are great for accounts over $30,000. However, they're not available for Canadians. You'll still get some discounts if you sign up through my link down below too. I would only recommend brokers I personally use, and these are all great choices. The three short selling brokers, they all have a lot of easy to borrow large cap stocks, same as interactive brokers. Now it's time for step number four. Finding cost-efficient ways to spend on locate. Okay, so now we learn how to find stocks to short and the best brokers to short. Now let's talk a little bit more about the cost of locating stocks. Well, yes, paying for locates is part of the business. It's all a business expense that can be used to write off against your trading profits. There's still definitely some smarter ways to decide whether you want to short a stock or not. Because when I first got my hands on one of these short selling brokers, I went ham. And I located way too much and spent way too much money on locate fees. So I want to offer you some tips when it comes to deciding how much and when to spend money on locates. First tip I have for you is the 1% rule. Generally speaking, a locate cost should not be more than 1% of the stock price. For example, a $5 small cap stock should not cost more than 5 cents per share to locate. Ideally, they should cost around 1 cent or 2 cents, or if they really cost more than 1%, which is more than 5 cents, then they better be able to give you a lot more range to the downside. Let me show you what I mean in just a little bit. Another example here is the stock DWAC. Since it's about $40 to $50, this stock should not cost you more than $4 to $5 to short for sure. In fact, they cost about $0.02 on um, trade zero. So that's very, very cheap. Okay, so now we know about the 1% rule. But what if the stock actually costs more than 1% to locate, like we mentioned earlier? If that's the case, then you need to determine the potential downside for the stock to make sure it's worth it. If a stock is going to cost me $1 to locate for 1,000 shares, that's $1,000 of locate cost, then it better be able to give me a 1 to 4 risk reward or even greater. Meaning that I want to look at a chart for the stock and see that the short setup on this stock can tank more than $4 to a downside to make sure my cost on the locate is worth it. So I want to spend $1,000 to potentially make $4,000. Remember, paying for locate is all business expenses. In trading, especially short selling, you need to be able to spend money to make even more money, especially on these golden opportunities. If you want to learn more about my short selling strategies or risk management, then feel free to check out the Humble Trader community in the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next time.